I'm going to lay out for you the steps, baby steps, to do an out-of-state investment. JJ, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And this is the show where we work together one-on-one -on -one to start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, right? You can make a lot of money in real estate investing. I've done so myself. I am a blue-collar guy. You know, I come from uh, truck drivers, right? My dad, my grandpa, both truck drivers, okay? So you don't have to be a super rich guy to get involved in real estate investing. And the client I'm working with today... Blue collar guy, JJ, man, you're from New York and you work in a warehouse, brother, and you're using uh, real estate investing. You, you've saved, you've saved up some money and you're trying to use real estate investing to elevate yourself, right? Get yourself into a new income bracket, brother. I've done the same thing and uh, today, hopefully I can help you do it as well. Now, I got a property for you, right? Your main goal is is to have $35,000 into this deal. And you were thinking you had to do a burr because uh, you only want thirty five k left of the deal. But I've actually found you a property that uh, is going to be ready to rock and roll and you don't even have to burr it out, right? This is something that right off the rip will be able to get for you uh, without you needing to do all that. And you're going to have a lot less than $35,000 into the deal. 3441 West 50th, Cleveland, 44102. Uh, just listed 15 days ago for $95,000 uh, by Keller Williams, an agent out of Keller Williams, right? This thing is a fully occupied duplex, brother. All right. Now, the photos you see here, this is what it looked like prior to the tenants being in there, right? They just showed you the what they did. You know, nothing like special, right? But we don't really need to worry about the interior too much because the tenants dug it and they like it and they're paying us uh, pretty damn close to market rents, right? One tenant paying six fifty, the other one paying seven hundred. So we're bringing in thirteen fifty a month, sixteen thousand two hundred a year, right? Market rent, the most we can get out of this would be seven fifty a unit. But for all intents and purposes, we're pretty damn close, right? So thirteen fifty a month, I like it. Of that thirteen fifty a month, your expenses, okay? We're going to have an average expense of $67 a month in repairs and maintenance. Now, this does not mean that you're being charged by your property manager $67 every month, right? You're going to save that. You need to save that money, right? You're probably not going to spend any money on repairs for many, many months. But when you eventually have a turnover, right, you're going to have probably like a two, three, four, five thousand dollar $5,000 turnover. So every single month you need to save $67. Put that away. Don't consider that your profit, right? Next, you got $67 that you're going to do the same thing with uh, to calculate for your vacancy and your non-payment of rent, right? When the rent comes in, it's great, bro, but you don't get to collect 100% of the rent in this business. It just does not happen, okay? So you're going to save that. Capital expenditures, 67 right? Your big ticket items, these are things you're going to purchase very infrequently, but they're very expensive. So you're going to save up for those, right? Roofs. Property like this is a big old duplex, bro. Big old duplex. A roof on this sucker, that's probably going to be a $7,000 roof. So you're going to save up for that. You got to buy one of those every 30 years. Furnaces. You got to buy two of those every 30 years because you got two of them in this property. They both cost about three Gs. Hot water tanks cost about 1000 You got to buy those every 15 years, right? You got two hot water tanks in this property, right? So these are things that you need to calculate uh, for going forward, right? As far as the ages of these mechanicals, we'll get more information on them when we actually do the inspection, but I believe they're probably mid to end of life, right? You shouldn't anticipate them being all brand new, so they work right now, but that doesn't mean you're not going to have to fork over that money in the semi-near future, right? So we got to calculate for those, save for those, right? So if you do a roof, like, say, next year, 
You ain't going to do a roof again for 30 years, but in 30 years, just like the sun going to rise every day, you're going to need a roof again, right? So you got to calculate for that stuff, right? And then you got your taxes. That's a simple one, right? You got to pay that every month. Insurance, you got to pay that every month, which, by the way, JJ, we'll be able to handle your insurance too, okay? We will take care of you, right? We own a farmer's business, so we will be able to quote you. We should be able to quote you at probably about, you know, 700 bucks or so a year, right? So uh, in the show notes below, if you want uh, anybody else watching this too, if you guys have rental properties, we're licensed to do insurance coast to coast. So if you guys want us to quote you on an insurance uh, policy for your rental properties, click that. We'll get you a quote. All we do is landlord insurance, so we can typically uh, get you guys better prices because with this farmer's business that we own uh we're also appointed through a bunch of other like small mom and pop and specialty insurance companies uh so we focus only on the landlord so you guys might be paying way too much for your insurance so we could probably help you guys out there right uh back to the chart though water and sewer another thing you know you're gonna have to pay the tenants water and sewer that should average out to 150 you gotta cover the the grass averages out to 44 and then you got to pay the man 135 right so that 1350 i anticipate you spending 772 uh with your noi your average noi being 578 as far as the price goes i think 95 is too high I don't think someone's going to pay 95. I think in this particular neighborhood, it's uh, currently a D-class neighborhood, but it's very, very close uh, to Metro Health. And I think if you're going to invest in a D-class neighborhood in Cleveland, this is the one I would do, right? Because they're going to invest a billion dollars into that neighborhood uh, with the Metro Health campus improvements and the surrounding area. Plus, we're very close to downtown. We're close to the lake. We're close to Ohio City, Tremont. Uh, Gordon Square. These are all areas that were rougher and are now like high quality areas, right? So I really like this neighborhood. I actually feel better about this neighborhood than some C-class neighborhoods because I think this is on the upswing. But with all that said, I think 95 is too much. I think we could probably take this down for 75. Now it's of course going to take some uh, some pushing and shoving to get the seller to accept it. I can't guarantee if the seller's going to accept it or not. But if they don't, that's okay. We can move on to a new deal because it's about getting you the right property for the right price. And I think 75 is the right price. If we get it at 75, that's a 9.3 cap. And then of course, I will get you a loan. I'll set you up with my lenders. Anybody else watching, if you want my lenders, sales at holtonwise.com. These are folks that write loans to investors like you guys. Doesn't matter where you live. Any of the 50 states will get you a 30-year fixed interest, low interest tax deductible loan, right? So with that, JJ, this is why you don't even need to worry about doing a bird deal because you only need to put down $18,750. we will get a lender to loan you the other 56. That would average out to a 21.8% average cash on cash return if this produces similar to what I've laid out for you, right? Now, that's all well and good. If you'd like to do that, we'll write the offer for you. Like I said, I think 75 is the right price. But I want to go over some of your other questions that you had for me too, bro, because this is your first investment. You've never invested out of town before, uh, and you just have some questions. I'm going to walk you through those, right? One of the questions, I'm just going to go top to bottom right on your list here. Who holds the escrow, right? By that, I'm assuming you're talking about the earnest money, right? The way we typically do earnest money here is you're going to, Write the offer. So say we set it up for $75,000. We'll then make that contingent on inspection. We want to have a third-party home inspector go in there on your behalf and make sure we know everything about the property because the due diligence you're doing right now by getting the show from me, right, that's just one part of the due diligence process. I am checking out this, giving you my information as someone who's got thousands of rentals, uh, you know, the validity of this property as a investment vehicle for you. But what I'm not doing from my desk is crawling in the attic, going in the basement, checking the foundation, checking the roof, looking inside your furnace, right? That's what a home inspector does. So we're going to make a contingent on a home inspection and the way we do this, right? So say you're off for 75K, Contingent on a home inspection, $1,000 earnest money deposit. We set it up where you get to first do your home inspection, and the earnest money isn't due until after you remove your inspection contingencies. That's how we try to set these deals up. 
to streamline everything, make it simple. At that point, when you send in the $1,000 earnest money, you can go one of two places, depending how we write the contract up. What's typical is it usually gets held here at Holton Wise. We are a licensed real estate broker, so it's held in our special state audited broker trust account. So that's where that would go. And then, of course, when you close the deal, it comes off your purchase price. It can also be held at the title company. We have contacts with many title companies, and we'll be able to make sure you're working with a legitimate title company. I actually own shares in this title company, Black Tie Title. I own shares in several other title companies out here in the Cleveland market, too. So uh, the title company can hold the money, or my brokerage will hold the money. Either way, I'll make sure you're working with people uh, that are legitimate, above board, licensed, and everything is good to go. Uh, next one. Do you still have a lot of people who are looking to rent? Oh, yeah, absolutely, brother. Uh, if you're thinking like uh, COVID, um, is, uh, if, you're, if, if that question is in relation to COVID, COVID hasn't stopped our demand for people looking for properties. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, when someone is in your house or apartment, uh, and they uh, lose their job due to COVID. You know, there is uh, some issues with the evictions right now. But as far as like uh, having a demand or not having a demand because of COVID, no, we are still uh, getting out there, getting these properties rented. After a property is renovated, uh, we typically get everything rented in 30 days or less. If it goes over 30 days here, we have an issue. Either we didn't renovate the property to a high enough standard. Uh, when we do these properties for you guys, just so you know, we send out uh, our turnover bids. We give you the minimum, the minimum rental standards that we have that you must meet. We also include premium upgrades that are optional. Sometimes we get investors that... Uh, Maybe they are just like hell bent on trying to get the price that uh, they think their unit is worth, but it's not the right price, right? So like maybe they think their unit's worth 800, but it would only rent for 800 if they opted for those premium upgrades. But instead, they did just the bare minimum to meet our rental standards, right? But that bare minimum, yes, we can get it rented, but we can't get it rented for the same price uh, that if you were to get the premium upgrades, right? So uh those are like the only situations where we go over those 30 days typically, right? So if it's not renting in 30 days, there's an issue. Either the price is too high, we need to lower the price, or we need to improve the property to meet the price you're trying to get. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Next question, brother. Should slash do I need rent tech and does it convert to QuickBooks for taxes? That's a great question, man. Good question out of you. Uh, rent tech, for those of you who don't know, and for you, JJ, that is uh, a property management software that we use here at Holton Wise. Okay. Now, the cool thing about Holton Wise is we are super transparent. So I want you to head over to our FAC and then check out the property management FAC. Everything about our company and how we handle the property management and the buying process is all listed for you here, including a downloadable copy of our property management agreement, which goes over all the fees, every single thing we do, right down to how much I'm going to charge you to cut the grass, okay? And Rent Tech is a property management software that my team uses, right? You get your own portal, and that's all included with everything you're paying for, right? So if you go up to the property management tab here, like you get uh, your own login and everything, and you'll be able to log in to RentTech through our website, and you'll get your own username, your own password. You'll be able to see all of your charges, everything that's going on with your portfolio, the rents that have been collected, the rents that haven't been collected. Everything is available for you 24-7 in real time. As soon as my accounting team inputs these charges or expenses or income, uh, rental income stream, thing of that nature. It's all going to be in here for rent tech. So you have all that covered. You don't need to go out and order rent tech on your own. We will provide all of that to you. You don't need any other property management software. We're going to have it all covered. As far as your taxes go, uh, at the end of the year, we're going to issue you uh, tax statements. We're going to issue you a 1099, right? 
or 1098. It's either 1099 or 1098. I don't remember which one off the top of my head, right? But we're going to give that to you, and all you need to do is supply that to your accountant who handles your taxes, and that is all of the information you need. So you don't need to worry about uh, tracking any income or expenses, right? It's all going to be tracked by us uh, through this software, and then you're going to get that form at the end of the year. Uh, 1098, I'm like 99% sure it's 1098. You're going to get the 1098 at the end of the year with everything laid out for you just perfectly, and you just give that right to your CPA. He'll take care of that for you, right? Uh, so we, we try to make things as easy as possible, brother. And then let's see what you got here. Next question. Do you have a video on how to find a manager if I do find I need one in the future? Haven't done long-distance owning before. Uh, well, I think I pretty much covered that in the previous question, right? We'll go back to the fact, right? Um, we will be able to handle the property management for you, dude. This is a one-stop shop. Literally everything you need to do, right? You click here for the property management fact, right? We also have facts for our tenants, and we have facts for uh, traditional homeowners that uh, we usually buy houses off of, right? So we got it all free here, right? Like I said, man, all the charges, every single thing we do is available for download, and then we walk you through the whole process. We try to provide you guys with both written answers and video answers to everything. So, JJ, you're going to want to spend some time checking this out. We'll go over the buying process, We'll go over every single thing, the leasing process, the property management process. We got Valerie, our general manager. She's explaining to you guys how the repairs and things of that nature are going to go, how the bidding process works. We got stuff set up for the utility companies. So, like, we will literally take care of everything for you, top to bottom. Like I said earlier, dude, we even got insurance and title for you, right? So we have you covered on everything. And then your last question, how long does it take to complete a purchase in Ohio? When we go under contract, um, that's another great question, by the way. And keep them coming, JJ. Uh, you got a bunch of videos for me, so if after this video you have more questions, dude, just send them to me, and I will knock them out. Anybody else who orders an MLS search and analysis package for me, any questions you guys have, man, I love them. Just send them to me in bullet points, and I'll plow, plow them out in your videos, okay? Uh, how long does it take to complete a purchase in Ohio? Well, they, they, it could be two, two or three different ways, right? If you're doing a cash purchase, we can usually run these properties through title in between 10 to 14 days, right? They got to do a title search, lien search, thing of that nature. Uh, but in a general uh, general situation where everything come back, comes back clean, there's no issues, 10 to 14 days on cash deals. If you're financing it, which I think you should on this deal, JJ, that's going to be dependent on your lender how fast we can plow through the deal. Typically, we get them done in about 30 days. However, some lenders are a little slower, and it takes about 45. So to answer your question, cash deals, you should anticipate a 10 to 14-day escrow period finance deals a 30 to 45 day escrow period and if you're buying commercial properties that's going to be a little bit longer your commercial sales uh, on cash deals that could get up to about 30 days because the title search takes a little longer and on finance deals you might be at like a 60 day escrow because uh, the financing takes a little bit longer appraisals take a little bit longer but on these residential ones anywhere between 10 and 45 days depending on how you pay for it right so jj man uh I think I did a pretty solid job today of answering all your questions. Again, if you have more, shoot them to me. As far as that property goes, I think that will work for you. I think it's a better deal uh, than going the Burr route right now because I just think it's a solid investment. And if we can get it at that right price, I'd love to see you get in there without having to spend all of your cash. We could probably even have a little bit of money left over and try to knock out another deal and then another deal. Get you several doors all at once. So if you want to move forward on that property, reply to this private email and we'll put in that offer. Of course, we'll make a contingent on inspection like discussed earlier and uh, we'll go from there. If the seller uh, takes it, awesome. If they don't, we'll move on. I'll get you another video and we'll try to find you something similar. Everybody else, if you've enjoyed today's show, if you're interested in investing in Cleveland and you'd like to work with me in the same way JJ is, you go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, click the MLS Search Analysis Show, order yourself a package. You can start with just one property analysis or you can get a three-pack, a four-pack, or a ten-pack. I think you're doing better. If you get the multi-packs, guys, because number one, I discount the prices. Number two, it's a give-take relationship, right? I'm trying to get you guys properties at prices 
that are making you a ton of money, right? Like this particular deal, okay? If JJ wanted to pay 95k for it, great. But I don't want to see JJ do that. I want to see JJ pick it up at 75k. So because of that, you know, I can't guarantee the deal's going to go down, right? So it's a numbers game. We got to analyze a lot of properties, look at a lot of options, and put out a lot of offers to sellers, right? That's what real estate investing is all about, guys. It's a numbers game. So because of that, I think you're better off doing the multi-property packages, long-term relationship, right? My team will be your long-term boots on the ground partner here in the Cleveland market, folks. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I know it was a lot to take in. If you're brand new and you just stumbled upon Holton Wise TV because you're Googling stuff about real estate investing, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.